Hi everybody, today's our topic is about rocks and minerals. In this topic, we will study what is a rock and which are the different types of rocks. So, we will start. What is a rock? Rocks are the hard materials. Rocks are the hard materials that form a part of the surface of the earth. Then we know different types of rocks are there and rocks have different uses also. Can you tell which is the most common rock? Basalt. Basalt is the most common rock and which is the most common mineral found on the earth? Quartz. Okay, quartz is the most common mineral. Quartz is the most common mineral found on the earth and which is the most uh, common rocks found on the earth basalt basalt is the most common rocks found on the earth we, we know different types of rocks are there rocks are classified on the basis of the mineral mineral composition and its chemical composition texture and on the basis of the process of their formation now we will study how rocks are classified on the basis of their process of the formation. On the basis of the process of their formation, rocks are mainly classified into three. Igneous rock, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. So on the basis of the formation, on the basis of the formation, process of formation, rocks are mainly classified into igneous rock, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. We will discuss one by one. First, igneous rock. How igneous rocks are formed? So what is igneous rock? This type of rocks are hard rock. These rocks are hard rocks and this type of rocks also known as primary rocks so igneous rocks also known as primary rocks question will come which rocks is known as primary rocks igneous rock so how these rocks form these primary rocks or igneous rocks formed when the molten magma come out when the volcanic eruption happen you know molten magma will come out this molten magma will cool down and solidify and form into rocks such types of rocks are known as igneous rock. So when the molten magma come out, it become cool down and change into rocks. Such types of rocks are known as igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are two types, intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rock. Intrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rock. So igneous rocks classified into two, intrusive igneous rock, extrusive igneous rock. How intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks formed? First we will study what is intrusive igneous rock. So I am told you when the molten magma come out, it will cool down and change into rock. Such types of rocks are known as igneous rock. So when the molten magma come out, before coming the earth or before coming to the earth surface, inside the crust it will cool down so inside the crust what will happen this molten magma will cool down and change into rocks such types of rocks are known as intrusive igneous rock so from where it will cool down inside the crust when the molten magma come out before coming to the earth surface what will happen inside the crust it will cool down such types of rocks are known as intrusive igneous rocks for example, granite. Granite is an example for intrusive igneous rock. Now you can tell what is extrusive igneous rock. When the molten magma come out from the earth's surface, it will cool down and change into rock. That is known as extrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rock. Example, basalt. Basalt is an example for extrusive igneous rock. So, intrusive igneous rock and extrusive intrusive igneous rock 
cool down from the inside the crust extrusive igneous rock when the molten magma come out and cool down outside the earth the crust that is called extrusive igneous rock so intrusive igneous rock actually this intrusive uh, intrusive igneous rock these rocks cool very slowly because it will cool cool down inside the earth crust so it will cool very slowly so it will contain large mineral crystals it will contain large mineral crystal extrusive igneous rocks cool quickly extrusive igneous rock cool quickly and it contains small mineral crystals it contain small mineral crystals it contain large mineral crystals and it cool down very slowly that is why it contain large crystal minerals extrusive igneous rocks cool very quickly so it contains small mineral crystals i think you understood next one sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks found like distinctive layers this type of rocks found like distinctive layers so this type of rocks found like distinctive layers and this type of rocks mainly formed from the fragments of other rocks so how this is formed formed from the fragments of other rocks other rocks fragments of other so sedimentary which type of rocks formed from the fragments of other rocks sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks formed from the fragments of other rocks okay ma'am will tell how it will formed when mud sand and debris it get compressed into layers and formed sedimentary rocks so due to weathering what will happen rocks will break down breaking of the rocks that is called weathering so due to weathering what will happen rock will break into small small fragments or it will divided into many particles and these fragments or particles what will happen it get compressed it get compressed into layers and formed different uh, and formed a type of rocks that is called the sedimentary rocks so sedimentary rocks first itself i told it look like distinctive layers rocks found like distinctive layers such types of rocks are known as sedimentary rocks example for sedimentary rocks sandstone conglomerate rocks and shale rock this is an example for sedimentary rocks so once again example for sedimentary rock sandstone sandstone conglomerate rocks shale rock this is an example for sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks also formed from living matter such as corals and sea shells so another example for sedimentary rocks i told you how sedimentary rocks are formed and sedimentary rocks also formed from living matter such as sea shells or corals so these seashells sea and corals it's waste that will formed into rocks that is that is another example for sedimentary rocks for example we can tell limestone limestone is an example for sedimentary rocks that is formed from living matter such as corals and sea shell corals or sea shells another example for sedimentary rock that is uh, rock salt rock salt how this rock salt are formed formed these are substances some substances that will be dissolved in water and it will be get settled down and form into rocks such types of rocks are called rock salt that also another example for sedimentary rocks i think you got what what is sedimentary rocks next we will look what is what is metamorphic rock how metamorphic rock is formed igneous and sedimentary rocks change into metamorphic rock due to heat and pressure so how metamorphic rock is formed igneous and sedimentary rocks change into metamorphic rock due to heat and pressure it undergo metamorphosis and i already told you what is metamorphosis due to heat and pressure what will happen to igneous and sedimentary rock it will change into metamorphic rock and it will completely complete change will happen it will totally change its chemical physical char characteristics everything will change and it will change into a new type of rock 
such types of rocks are known as metamorphic rock so once again how metamorphic rocks is formed igneous and sedimentary rocks change into metamorphic rock due to heat and pressure marble is an example for metamorphic rock okay i think you got an idea about which are the different types of rock now we will study our next topic it is about rock cycle so what is rock cycle it is the process of destruction and recreation of rocks so what is rock cycle the process of destruction and recreation of rocks is known as rock cycle in another way we can tell i already told you what is igneous rock sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock so i told you when the volcanic eruption happened what will happen molten magma will come out and this molten magma will cool down and change into igneous rock so this igneous rock due to weathering activity what will happen it will break into small fragments or small particles these small fragments or particles it will compressed and change into sedimentary rocks then this sedimentary and igneous rock due to heat and pressure it will change into metamorphic rock okay when the metamorphic rock again due to heat it will change into liquid form or molten magma again this molten magma will cool down and change into igneous rock again this igneous rock due to weathering what will happen it will change into small fragments and it will compress and change into sedimentary rocks again this igneous and sedimentary rocks due to heat and pressure change into metamorphic rocks metamorphic rock this cyclic process is known as rock cycle i think you understood so the rock cycle means it is the process of destruction and recreation of rock that is known as rock cycle so so this much only this chapter we want to know now everybody take your textbook for doing textual exercise everybody take page number 124 first section fill in the blanks the dash is the thinnest layer of the earth crust is the thinnest layer of the earth second one the core has a dash outer layer molten outer layer third one metals are found in dash present in the rocks minerals present in the rocks dash rock arises from the change in form of existing rock metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks arise from the change in the form of existing rocks slate is an example of a dash rock metamorphic rock slate is an example of metamorphic rock now look the second section b section choose the correct option this rock is formed by rock fragments sedimentary rocks second one internal heat of the earth is located and circulated in this layer mantle This is an igneous rock. Third one, this is an igneous rock, granite. Fourth one, the materials found in the mantle are in this state, molten state. Next one, the cycle that describes the transition that all rocks undergo, rock cycle. So I think today's topic is clear to you if you have any doubt ask me we will meet in the next class